Dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Musaddi Gohir, and today uh, we will discuss the operation and working of Hadamard gate. As you all know that uh, classical logic gates performs uh, basic operations of classical computers and they are main building blocks of the classical computer. Similarly, in quantum computers, different quantum logic gates are used, which used in the algorithm of quantum computers. So one of them is Hadamard gate. So Hadamard gate is basically a type of gate which performs multiple operations and it has wide range of applications. It is used in quantum Fourier transform. It is used to produce uh, entangled states and most importantly it is used to produce superposition states so uh, let let us start our lecture first of all you should know that hadamard gate is consists of hadamard matrix of order 2 by 2 the rows of Hadamard matrix are orthogonal to each other and the factor of 1 by 2 is the normalization factor. So if you are applying a Hadamard matrix on a single qubit then the order will be 2 by 2 and as you increase the number of qubits on which you have to apply the operation of Hadamard matrix then the order will also be increases. So ordered increases by 4 by 4 and 8 by 8 and so on as we are here only discussing the basics of Hadamard gate so that's why I have used the simplified version of Hadamard matrix. So this is the uh, block diagram of Hadamard gate in which this part represents the input of the Hadamard matrix uh, Hadamard, Hadamard gate and this central part is the operation of Hadamard gate in that uh, part Hadamard matrix is enclosed and this is the output portion of the Hadamard gate. As you can see that when uh, we give the input cat 0 then the Hadamard matrix will apply on it. You can also call it Hadamard gate as we can see that the output will be the superposition of 0 and 1 and your output will be like that. Hadamard gate applies on cat 0 is equal to 1 over under root 2 0 plus 1 here you can see that the superposition of the state has been achieved similarly if you apply input 1 then uh, the operation of Hadamard gate will be performed here and uh, uh, the output will be 0 minus 1 and the operation of the Hadamard gate will be like that so from here you can see that whenever you apply Hadamard gate on to any sing, uh, one of the uh, states 0 or 1 you will get the superposition states of the qubit. So Hadamard gate produces the superposition of states. Next uh, it is a self inverse gate. Self inverse means uh, if you apply Hadamard gate twice on a state then the state will be retrieved. Likewise you can see here First you apply Hadamard gate on Psi and then again you apply and you will get Psi. Why? Because the inverse of Hadamard gate is equal to itself. From here, from the Hadamard matrix you can see that if you take its transpose or its inverse it will remain the same. That's why Hadamard into Hadamard inverse is equal to identity and you all know that identity always gives the original state and uh, that state will be retrieved. So it is a self inverse Hadamard, uh, self inverse gate. It is the property of Hadamard gate. So look at uh, now look at another example. If you apply Hadamard gate on zero and then again you apply twice Hadamard gate, you will get zero cat. How? Let's solve it. So when first you apply Hadamard gate on zero, you will get superposition state of 0 and 1 then you apply Hadamard on 0 and 1 
again then you will get again superposition if you apply on zero then you will get the superposition of zero and one when you apply header mod on one you will get superposition of zero and one with minus sign from here uh, cat one will be dropped and you will get that state and finally you can see that zero cat is achieved so th this was the very basic about the header mod gate and how you can uh, create the superposition of states and it is widely used in quantum algorithms to construct quantum computers so being a quantum computing student you should know how Hadamard gates can be applied it's enough for today i will be back with new video kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and like and share my video I will be back with new one on the half face.